Welcome to Blender Frenzy. I am Justin, and yes, I know I've been away for a long time, um, and I'm sorry about that, but if you want to know more about that, stick to the end of the video, because I will get into all of that, where I've been, what I've been planning, what I, what I want to do in the future. But for now, I want to dive right into the video, but before I do that, I want to let you know that this is not the normal tutorial style uh, that I usually do for, for my videos. Um, basically, um, as you know, Blender 2.8, it, it, the official release just came out last week and I'm super excited uh, to get started video editing using that. Um, and so this is sort of my unboxing of 2.8 and what it's like with a video editor. Um, so um, it's stuff that I am kind of just learning on the fly as you're watching me. So it's more of a conversational style. It's not gonna be um, like step one, step two, step three. It's just me testing things out. And uh, it's kind of ADD. It's like, well, some, sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm there, but um, I'm just using the, the video editor editor as uh, I would as I'm just testing it out. But I thought I'd bring you along so you can see my reaction. A lot of the stuff you probably already know, but uh, I figured you, you know, come along for the conversation and come along uh, just to see. And plus, since I haven't been around in a while, then maybe I thought you might want to uh, see my glowing face again. Well, not, not, not so much, but see my, <laughs> see my uh, uploads on YouTube. But I do have my glowing face on these conversational style, uh, not really tutorials, but videos, the unboxing videos. And I did that on purpose so that you can, again, it's it's more like uh, you're there with me and we're kind of discovering this together. So anyway, enough of blabbing on. Uh, let's dive right into the video of my first impressions of video editing using Blender 2.8. It is finally here, the long-awaited Blender 2.8. Yes, that is right, the official release is now out and I am super excited to get started using it for video editing. Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time at Blender Frenzy, I am Justin. And for those of you who uh, are returning, I am sorry that I've been gone. I have been MIA for quite a while, and there, there are good reasons for that. I'm not going to get into now because I want to dive right in. Uh, but if you want to know more about that, uh, just wait till the end of the video, and I'll explain a little bit more about that. But let's unbox the video editing portion of Blender 2.8. And the reason I want to do this is because um, Blender, there's so many good improvements with, with uh, Blender in other areas. So you have render improvements. You, you've got the EV render, of course, which everybody's drooling over. Um, and, and for good reason, because it's it's awesome. Updated modeling tools. The UI is, is more consistent and more professional looking and just really clean and sleek and easy to use. But the question is, how is it with video editing? Let's see if they gave just as much love to the video editing section uh, of Blender as much as they gave to others. Now, I'm guessing that's not the case. Um, just from what I've seen so far, they haven't really updated the video editing portion too much, which is okay, because um, then that means my earlier stuff with 2.79 is still somewhat relevant. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead. This is what it looks like when you first open it. Of course, you've got the spring uh, open movie here, a, a screenshot from that. And you can see some of the files that I've been working on, which I will get to eventually. So I'm just going to click out of that. And oh, look at that. It's just uh, absolutely beautiful, even though we're not going to be uh, using this portion. Now, the reason I haven't used this yet, and actually I'm really behind the times on this, is because um, my laptop would crash every time I went to the shading tab. So you can see these tabs up here. We've got layout, we've got modeling, sculpting, UV editing, and they're just workspaces, kind of like um, the different layouts were uh, in, in 2.79. And once I get to the shading one, uh, it just froze and it crashed every time. And so I was waiting for like a year and a half for them to fix it, because I just thought it was a bug. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess they haven't really fixed that portion of it um, yet. Um, and it was never fixed, never fixed, never fixed until like a couple weeks ago, I finally f figured out that, oh, actually, it's my computer. It's my driver, a Windows driver. I'm, I'm using the same computer, but the Windows driver, for some reason, wasn't compatible with it. So I thought, well, let me try Linux. And uh, it worked like a charm. 
I couldn't believe it. I could have been using Blender 2.8 for some so much longer. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, we have these uh, workspaces. So, um, you see that there is no uh, video editing. That's the first thing that I noticed. There's no video editing workspace off the bat. But if you click this little plus here, uh, you can see it's down here, and you can do d different things: VS, VFX. Uh, compositing, masking, motion tracking, all of that stuff, which I so want to get into eventually on uh, my channel here. So we go just to video editing and this is what pulls up here. And yeah, it's uh, it looks very similar um, layout as the default in the first one. Now, uh, from what I've done before, I know initially the first thing I noticed that was different was the, the scroll. So uh, right clicking now actually brings up context menus. So left clicking is default select, as I'm sure you all know. You can change that, of course, through the preferences. Um, but um, I'm not entirely sure how much I like this. But basically to scrub through the timeline, uh, I think this is more of like other video editors, Adobe After Effects or Premiere, Final Cut Pro. I think they all have these like sliders that at the top that you use. I think that's pretty standard. I think that's why they did that. I liked having the like right click being able to change this so that I didn't have to go up here all the time. So that was, that's my first kind of mini little critique, but let's get started. Um, I'm gonna open up a video and pardon me, I don't have any new videos. And I'm sure everybody's probably sick of the promo video that I have. <laughs> I am too. So uh, let me just go find the that and pull it up okay so i'm just going to open up uh it looks like shift a uh is the same thing here we can add in a movie sound image sequence all of that good stuff they've rearranged some things it looks like um and they've added icons which i really like uh and that's for the everything so everything has a, like a little icon to make it more visually um consistent um and uh, of course to identify what you're what you're wanting to do. So I want to add in a movie, pre-cut footage. There we go. All right. And again, I know, I'm sorry. I know you're probably sick of all of this, but I just want to test this out um, to see. Okay. So that works. So basically I just hit G and then Y uh, to go up. I'm going to hit home. Okay. So that still is home. And then um, scrolling, it works the same. Uh, control uh, and middle clicking and dragging it works the same. So that's good. Um, so let's see, page up. Okay, page up, page down. Goes to, snaps to the ends of those strips there. Um, oh, let's drag this up here a little bit. Make sure I don't, there we go. I think that's, well, let's, there we go. Now, uh, I did notice this before. So uh, if I hit E, if I hover over here and hit E, nothing happens, which uh, originally uh, made that the end frame here. If I hit E, can I do home here? Okay, yeah, I can do home there. Uh, but that just is that frame range there. Make this the end frame. I think it's control end. Yeah, so control end, and then to to make something. Oh, see, I still I'm still in the habit of right clicking uh, to make something the start frame. If I come over here and I hit Control Home, uh, let's do Home. All right. So and that's where that's where you have your start frame. Dang it, <laughs> that's gonna be hard to get used to um, to scrub through that. Okay, there we go. So here's my start frame, end frame over here. Cool. Um, let's go page down again and then Control Home. I don't know if I like that too much. Uh, I might change that in the future, but uh, okay, home. Uh, I'm just gonna change my setup to the way I have it in 2.79. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't need that because you know you can do your Control A to add in stuff. I don't need to have uh, this. You can also click and drag from another window, um, which I like doing because I usually work with multiple monitors. Um, so. Yeah, so basically what I'll do is drag this out and line that up. I don't like how, like if you're new to Blender and you don't know that you can like change these windows, there's no like indication here. Like uh, in 2.79, you have these little ridges here in the corner. 
Uh, of course, you have your little crosshairs that your cursor turns into. But I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar enough with it now. But I don't know, just new 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 users aren't going to know that you can like click and drag and windows into windows. You can click and drag new windows. I, I just I don't know. I, I'd like to see a little bit more visual thing there. But anyway, uh, OK, so there's that. Now what I want is, uh, OK, so we have sequencer. We have the preview only or we have sequencer and preview, which is what I like. And this is different from before in the fact that uh, this is all one area. And I like that because then you can hit in and that still works. In is in Nancy to open the properties uh, for your uh, video. Okay, and then this, I usually had our, um, this is where our rendering is. So render engine EV, I'm not entirely sure how EV works with just regular video. Um, I don't know if I change this to cycles. I don't know if cycles renders the video. I don't know what was rendering the video actually on the video editing side of things in Blender. Um, I don't know if that was just Blender's native render. Um, I don't know if I can switch to cycles here, render my video in cycles, or EV have it render in EV. I don't know. Something I'm gonna have to test out. I noticed that uh, we've got different things separated out so here's all your rendering stuff and then um, of course you see the menu now is instead of horizontal uh, it is vertical so this is our output and that only has our outputs and again remember if you can if you click to close something say it's open and you want to close it if you click and hold and then drag down it will close all of them that are open same thing for opening them if you click and hold and then drag up it's going to open all of them i i love that feature i'm glad they didn't get rid of it all right let's see what else we have here so um basically this is all pretty straightforward um all of these are f pretty much the same um, also another thing that they left in here is, uh, you can click and drag those, which I like. I always like to put post-processing up at top because, uh, the post-processing, um, for video editing is actually just our regular processing. I'm going to uncheck compositing because we're not using that right now. Just the sequencer. Well, hello there, BFFs. That's Blender Frenzy followers. Just made that up. I've been silent for a good six months now, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's just life has been getting in the way of any sort of uh, production or recording or tutorials or anything. Um, and so I thought I'd take a, uh, a moment to explain kind of what's been happening in my life and then t kind of tell you some things that, that are upcoming um, because I am working on some things. But first, um, the reason I haven't been uh, around is because, uh, well, one, I work a full-time full job uh, that I have to maintain. And on top of that, um, I uh, have had several family members in the hospital, like one after the other. And uh, that took a toll. Uh, and took several weeks out of my normal routine to be able to make sure that they were okay. And, uh, th and they are okay, just so you know. Um, so everything's good there. And then I had my own health issues. So I was wrestling with that and you know, energy levels and just that took a, a few more weeks. Um, so yeah, so a lot of things have been going, oh yeah, in my apartment, um, so my apartment has been like flooded again, basically pipes bursting. It's just a really old building. So I've got that going on, plus some other disasters happening in my apartment that I have to tend to. I'm not going to go into all of that, but yeah. So really, it's almost like every time I try to run faster, like more obstacles come in. So, um, <clears throat> so I really do apologize, but it's not all complaining and doom and gloom. So even though in the midst of all of these uh, turmoil, this turmoil, these storms, I've been actually building um, something to go along with my website. And actually what that is, is a course section to my website. So I want to actually start making some in-depth paid courses. Um, now don't worry, I'm still going to be doing free tutorials online on YouTube uh, just like normal, so don't worry about that. But 
The thing is, I don't have Patreon. I don't have um, Kickstarter. I don't have any, any other way of people kind of supporting me. And I would like to eventually do this full time. So this is a way that you would be able to support me in that effort if you uh, if you so choose. Again, that's it's, it's kind of up to you. Um, if you just want to stick to the free stuff, that's fine. But I will also be providing some paid courses and I want to make courses tailored to kind of the things that you want. So if you want something like, man, I really want to know how to do this. Uh, and if I get enough responses, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive deep in and I'm going to find everything out about that and you're going to help me make the course. So if you if you purchase a course from me, I will uh, I will tailor it to your needs, um, basically. But I can get into all of that um, later. But I just wanted you to know that that's something that's coming up. It's not up yet. I will uh, tell you when that's that's done. I'm actually trying to make a, a really small first course that you can get. It's not going to be a lot of, a lot of dollars. Hopefully, it's something that that would be interesting and and, and useful for you. But I'll get into that later when it's a little more ready. Uh, but anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I, I want to dive right back into the tutorials, all different kinds. I've got so many different ideas. So yes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay as long as life will let me. <laughs> so, and I'm going to do my very best to try to keep a consistent YouTube upload schedule as well. Let me know if you, if you do think of something like, man, I would really like to see this course on something, this course, or even just a regular tutorial. If you want to see a tutorial about something, um, let me know. I want to get into things like uh, visual effects and um, uh, maybe maybe a little bit of motion graphics, but I like to do like camera tracking and, and taking your footage of real life and putting CG elements in there. I really want to get into doing stuff like that. So uh, lots, of, lots of different plans coming up. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Stay tuned and uh, you will see me hopefully very, very soon. So please don't go anywhere and I'm not going to go anywhere and we'll be in this together. So I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are too.